With the steering shaft in, now I can fit the brake uh, and clutch reservoir um, with its uh, heat shield. So this is it installed. Um, you have the wiring for the reservoir levels. Um, this is the clutch cylinder and uh, two brake cylinders. Uh, obviously this is the heat shield. And then um, you subassemble everything but silver, all the brackets on the bench. Well, I did anyway. So all this assembly here was complete. And then I attached this to the heat shield through the brackets at the back and they come in two, two halves. So there's this half of the bracket and then there's another part of the bracket that goes underneath the rail and that supports the lower heat shield, which I am missing. So I have to, um, there's a lower heat shield that goes across here somewhere um, hanging off this bracket. So I have to follow up on that. That part was missing off my car. Um, so this is attached to the plate uh, via these brackets um, before you try and then uh, then and then fit it. Um, after that is on, it's relatively straightforward. All right, so this clutch line hose goes to the this pipe. Um, then uh, the center one, that uh, pipe goes down to um, the brake uh, system down here. And there's a spigot that sticks out. And then the front one goes on to the um, spigot that's related to, to, to this. Um, I didn't cut any of the, these hose lengths. I just used what was uh, actually supplied as, with the kit that I bought for that. Um, <clears throat> this vacuum hose routing, now I've changed, given that this is all installed. So I'm going in, I go underneath the um, the uh, fluid reservoirs and then come underneath and then uh, then come down. So that's looking uh, tidier and tidier. And then this vacuum hose that I was uh, concerned about, um, I think it's better on the outboard side of the rail, of the frame rail. And uh, if I secure the uh, heat shield that goes underneath there, um, which is for the brake reservoir apparently, then um, my vacuum hose is going to be on the outboard edge away from the exhaust side of that. So that seems to start to make um, make some sense. Uh, this is uh, getting a little crowded now. Um, it's looking really good. I'm about to um, try and fit the uh, the heating system. So yeah looking increasingly like a car heater box is in um, not too bad to install there are four bolts uh, that go into the bulkhead one here one here one on the other side and then one down below um, the complication with that is that uh, there's a bracket here and you can see the clamp for that bracket on the other side. On the far side, I'll swing around in a second, um, that's part of the motor that uh, supports this height, um, otherwise it's cantilevered off. Um, that makes it a little tricky to position these four bolts and uh, fight against that edge. Um, but it's, uh, I mean, you know, it's uh, like everything on the, on the, on the C-type, it's just fiddly. Um, the wiring is done. There are three wires that come from the harness um, and uh, they're color coded. They all connect up. Um, that's for the different uh, fan speeds. Um, I've also taken the opportunity to try and tidy up the harness underneath here a little bit. Um, not that it was in a bad shape. I, I still haven't finalized all of that. And uh, when I do, I'll get the actual straps in the right place, the Jaguar related straps. Um, that is that, uh, that is that bracket that I'm talking about right there. Um, so that was just made it a little inconvenient. 
uh, two hoses that go into the connect from the bulkhead, top one, bottom one. They're relatively straightforward to put on. And then um, have the bowden cable for the heater control. Um, and again, like I found with this other valve control here, this little toggle at the end that clamps the, uh, or bolt assembly that clamps the cable uh, to the lever is missing. So I have to order one of those. Um, she will go through there like that. I'll sort this length out accordingly. Um, but um, at this point, uh, I think there's a seal to go on here. I need to check what's on the hood. I can't remember um, if there's one car side and one hood side, so I'll figure that out. Um, but um, right now it's, uh, yeah, it's looking, looking very good. Next job up is the radiator. Big piece that will make it look even more like a car. 